Hi folks, Kevin, Word in Vapor, back here again. I've got another one for you. Now this I've borrowed. It's the Aspire Archon. Watch this. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so here's the box. It's not in there anyhow. So I was tooting it just now. So anyway, let's just have a quick look around. Picture on the front there. Archon. Aspire. Archon. Aspire. On the back, you've got a scratch and sniff. You've got a breakdown of the uh, of the mod. 150 watts, this one. Right, inside you get a little user manual, which is... Yes, it's multi-language. That's fair enough. I would suggest that you sit and read this. There's a lot of information in, in this that I'm not going to be able to cover. <clears throat> you get a warranty card. These, incidentally, are roughly around about 50 quid. You get a USB charge update cable. Yes, this is fully updatable. Anyway, let's just take a quick look around the thing. I've got a 22mm RDA sitting on there at the moment. Take that off for that. One thing I did notice about this, it's got a bit of a lip around the top there. So, any of your bigger tanks... I mean, this one sits on here okay. Although... Being it's a 22mm RDA, if you look at that closely, yeah, you do get sort of a little bit of a hangover there. Whether that's because of this lip here, I, I, I don't know. But, uh, it's a bit, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm not really that fussy, to be quite honest, but I know that there are a lot of people out there that like their tanks to sit flush and uh, etc. No, uh, no, oh, there you go. Anyway, put that to one side. Yes, stainless steel 510 with a uh, silver plated. Is it spring loaded? Yeah, spring loaded centre pin there. There's your battery sled there. Held in by magnets. You got one, two, three, four on the uh, the battery it's, uh, case itself, and you've got a four on the thing there thing i like about these is you can pop your your batteries out very very easily see like that very easy i've got to change those batteries anyway so inside here um they put a little uh, warning about battery wrappers so that's fair enough you've got that pretty great hole there you've got contacts they look like gold plated contacts to me they might be, um, yeah, it might be stainless steel gold plate. I don't know. And your battery orientation, plus up, minus up. So, so you've got a CE mark on the bottom there. You've got your fire button. You've got a watts button. You've got a temperature control button. You've got a minus. You've got a plus. You've got a micro USB point. I wouldn't recommend charging your batteries in this. Uh, there you go. That's that. Not that much more that i can show you about that now you've got your obviously you've got your your screen there <laughs> right let's uh, see if i can put some batteries in this and we'll um take a butcher's hook right plus up minus up there we go comes on it is it comes on when you put your batteries in you can lock it by clicking it five times Unlock it by clicking it five times. If you press your temperature control button or your T button, you can choose your wires. Uh, how do we do that? Oh, that's right. Titanium, nickel, stainless steel. Memory mode one, two, three. And back to nickel again. Let's put it onto watts. There we go. Pick watts again. You can stick it on volts if you so desire. Bypass. Which means that it'll act like a mech. These are ramp up uh, menus. So you got two, you got three ramp ups and ramp downs. And it's back to wattage. You can also set a password on here. You can also uh, put a logo on there. I'm, now I'm not going to do that because obviously this isn't my my unit so i'm not going to password it and i'm not going to put a, a logo on there not a bad little thing not a bad little thing at all in fact i've got here i know that this is going to sit well over but i've got the uh 
I've got the Apocalypse RDA that I picked up the other day and this looks rather nice on here. There we go. Looks rather nice on there, I think. <laughs> yes, oh yes, that was something else too. If you turn, it's got a like a gravity uh, thing, If you t whichever way you turn your, your mod. Yeah? It's always the right way round. So that's that's pretty cool. You've got uh, a Spire Archon on the battery case. No, I like this little thing. I, I really do like this. Right, let's go back up top. Give this a little bit of a toot, shall we? Right, yeah, so we're back up top. We've been talking about this Aspire Archon. Yeah, actually, I like it. I think it's quite a snazzy little bit of kit. It, it goes with this Apocalypse quite nicely, actually, I think. <laughs> I picked that up the other day as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a review for that one, actually. It's uh, not a bad little RDA. Not bad. People are calling it the Goon Killer, but I'm getting off track. Let's just give this a bit of a toot. That's not bad, actually. Um, 0.38 ohms. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. What have I got in there? I've got uh, Anarchist Black in there. Top that just slightly up. A couple of drops or so in there. Yeah. Oh, I love the taste of that one. Oh, right. God, oh, Bennett. There you go, right. So, what can I tell you about this thing? 150 watts of power. It's got the same features or the same chip as the NX75. It looks like the Plato. Yeah, because I haven't, I haven't got a Plato either. So, there you go. I've got a Pegasus somewhere. <laughs> God knows where. It's up there somewhere. Anyway, the contours of it, very nice. Not so sure about that lip around the top there. I mean, even with this uh, um, this apocalypse on there, that is, uh, I've put too much bloody liquid in it, and it's dripping out everywhere. <laughs> 23 millimetre RDA, and that is sticking well over. You can see that there. But with the 22 on it that I had on it just now, it still sticks over just a, f a fraction. So, I mean, there's going to be some people out there that aren't going to like that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Me, I don't care. As long as it works on it and I get my vape, I don't give a monkey's uncle. <laughs> yeah, you've got an easy navigation on here. Uh, the menuing system is extremely easy to navigate. Uh, I mean, I played with it, yeah, but I've really just stuck to what's with it because I'm not into temperature control that much these days sometimes i'll stick uh, uh stainless steel on but i haven't even done that with this i'll just stay to what's with it but uh you saw in the in the close-up that uh I, I i navigated the uh, the menu quite well it's very easy to do you've got a um a stealth option on here as well which is fair enough yeah tcr functions you got the as I said the child lock and password function, which I think is a good idea. If if this was mine, I would most definitely password it, um, because if my boy was to get hold of it, he plays with things and uh, uh, being special needs, you know, I've got to be extremely careful with him. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's uh, that's that. Oh, the uh, the password it says here: simply press W and minus to enter the child lock mode and then use plus or minus buttons to set the password well that's fair enough they say about personalization here um that's that logo that i was on about um i believe my buddy has wiped off the uh the logo that was on there or turned it off or, or something because there should have been a, a spire um, over the top of the uh, over the top of the, uh, the the watts there where that space is there so yeah I think he's probably turned it off in the box you get the Aspire Archon you get a micro USB charge cable you get the user manual you get a warranty card and on the back of the box you got a scratch and sniff well that's fair enough the specifications what is range one to one hundred and fifty 
Not that I would go up to 150 anyway, but I'm testing I might well do later on. I don't know. Uh, I certainly wouldn't do it now. 60 is just about right for me. As you can see, I'll get a decent amount of vapour from it. It's not over the top. It's not. I'm not a cloud chucker. I've said this on previous videos. Uh, yeah, output voltage range 0 0.00 to 8.50 volts. Uh, resistance parameters 0 0.1 ohms to 3.5 ohms in both wattage and TC mode. Continuous fire time, where you got it's adjustable from five to fifteen seconds. Yeah, continuous fire time adjustable from five to fifteen seconds. Filmware updates available via micro USB port. Dimensions twenty three point four millimeters by sixty two point seven millimeters, eighty eight millimeters in depth. Yeah. That's it. Batteries required, two 18650s, capable of 20 amps continuous drain. Well, that's fair enough. As I say, I've got Sony VTC4s in there. That That's absolutely fine for me. TC range, 200 to 600 Fahrenheit or 100 to 315 C. You've got protection features on there. Automatic cutoff, short circuit protection, low resistance protection, over heat protection, over charge protection, over discharge protection. Other features include pass-through charging. In other words, you can toot on it while it's on charge. Personally, I wouldn't do that myself. I would much rather take the cells out, charge them up via my IntelliCharger, uh, end of story, put another set of batteries in. Stealth vape mode, heat ramp up adjustment, TCR functionality, a Automatic uh, coil resistance in TC mode, child lock personalization, blah 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 blah. That's it. Yeah, well, that's that, that's that's that. Right, okay. What do I think of it? Well, it gives a good vibe. It gives a good vibe. Yeah, I do. I, I, I end up by playing with it when I turn it in gravity, you know. <laughs> <laughs> end up by playing with it oh dear yeah so uh, yeah no i like it i think oh, it's absolutely fabulous I, i'm thinking about getting one of these myself actually because it's just the right size for my hand and i do i love i love the curve back it's going back to the early e-leaf products when they had the uh the, c the curves across the back there yeah i like that i really do because nine times out of ten i will finger pull it sometimes i'll push it with my thumb you know fire it with my thumb but nine times out of ten i will fire it with my finger and in doing so it sits very comfortably in the hand yeah yeah right now there's not much more that i can tell you about this this has been kevin from word and vipers thank you so much for listening to my warblings on this afternoon and i will catch you guys on the next one Cheers for now. Let's toot you out. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that.